Hello everybody, welcome to Mass Trash Rules Legends. Yes, of course, you saw that huge promo last week, uh, but we'll get onto that later on. Uh, for the moment though, I'd just like to bring something to your attention. They thought that they would kill Mass Trash Rules. Haha, <laughs> Tesco's. You tried, you failed. Because this is the camera that I normally use to film MRW, here it is. And this is what I decided to do. Turn it on. And it'll stay on that screen until it w drains all the batteries out. Thanks, Tesco's. So, the camera that I've used to record Mass Trash Rolls for the last... Uh, near enough for the last 11 months has decided to die on me. However, I was lucky enough to have the foresight to buy another one uh, during the summer holiday. So, it's... So, MRW is not dead yet. Well, no, it's not dead at all for that matter. You thought you could take us down. You failed! So yes, now on to uh, the promo you saw at the end of the last week's episode of Master of Rules Legends. Yes, the return of the legendary Calamity Call 4 happens tonight. Yep, it has come back from the grave, a completely new design. And of course, a new design means it's a new blood robot. And of course, that means that it'll be entered in tonight's New Blood Annihilator to determine... A new New Blood Champion. And of course, the winner of tonight's 8-bot battle will take on Exodus, our New Blood Champion champions, in the main event. So, let's begin and introduce all 8 of our... Well, all 8 of the robots. First up, a robot everyone knows, Onis. Spinning robot with spikes on it. A very dangerous robot and has proved it on a few occasions on Legends. A very good robot. Very strong. Solstice, we saw it two weeks ago defeat Corrosive in its first match. Good robot. Very low to the ground we uh, weapon. Anderson the Wagras, could he be the next... Uh, Master Astro Wars Judgment Champion. He's certainly one of the contenders. I guess we'll have to find out one day. Battle Axe, an impressive victory over uh, DF2 in its debut. However, destroyed by Dragoo on two occasions. That axe, though, seems stronger this time round. Blue Motion, in its only appearance in Mass Trash Rule Wars, uh, was in the, a Judgment main event and was destroyed. However, that vertical blade does look quite dangerous, but hasn't really proved much. This is Major John, a new robot for Mass Trash Rule Wars. Uh, basically, it's a good flipper robot with the face of former uh, England Prime Minister John Major. Therefore, that's hence the name. Has a lifter, and of course, it's got very new roll like uh, sides, allowing it to self right easier. It's got a good flipper on it, this robot has. It could go far. The Obliterator with its lava distributing blades, its fusion battery power, and the Clefable uh, holding watch, making his debut in Mass Rush Rotals. And of course, we've seen this a few times. We'll see how he does. In Mass Trash it was. And last but not least, here he is. The new incarnation, Calamity Call 5. The fifth incarnation of Calamity Call, but all four of the first robots all have the same design. This one, completely different, has a big lifter on it still. It's a triangle-shaped robot with, of course, a V-shaped lifter. We'll see how far this robot goes. Looks impressive, though. Roboteer, stand by. Three, two, one. Activate. So here we go. It's Calamity Call 5 straight away. In trouble with Solstice. And Battle Axe comes down with the axe on Calamity Call 5. Major John. And of course, remember, this is an Annihilator, meaning that, well, it's every robot for themselves. There's a good flip by Anderson the Walgrus on Battle Axe. Battle Axe will be on himself right due to its axe weapon. And does so. Good axe weapon there on Battle Axe. Now comes down to the back of Solstice. 
Remember, one robot falls each round until we have one robot left. And now the Obliterator getting hit for points by Battle Axe's weapon. The Clefable, very well protected by Cellar Tape. So yes, Clamic Call 5 on his side for a minute. Now Clamic Call 5 lifts up Major John, and that's a big lift by Clamic Call 5. And again, this is a robot to look out for, folks, for Series 9. The incarnation of Calamity Call and Planet Call 5 in control. Wait a minute, there is Blue Motion. And Blue Motion gets underneath Calamity Call 5. Planet Call 5 self rights though. Anderson the Walgrass now going for the legendary. Planet Call gets him by the lifter. And that lifter seems the right size for Anderson the Walgrass's uh, forklifts. Now lifts up and picks Battle Axe. Right up, lifts him up and flips him again. Got some good power on Anderson the Wagras here. He could be a favourite to win the Series 8 New Blood Championship. Onis coming in with the spinner. Uh, Solstice is going to need to self right quickly and does so. So is Major John. Major John self right very well. Solstice lifts up Major John, but don't worry about that. He'll be able to self right using the flipper as a weapon. And again lifts up, but Major John self right again. Obliterator. Low ground clearance robot. Also very strong and heavy. Good pusher. Obliterator could prove a few shocks. Anderson the Wagras pushed into Genocide's corner. And Anderson the Wagras has got himself stuck, it looked like, onto the tape. But wait a minute, lifts up Obliterator, who has no stream act. And Obliterator could be the first to fall here. Calamity Call 5 in there. Battle Axe lifted again. Battle Axe able to self right though. Solstice. Down comes the axe of Battle Axe on a Solstice. Major John still in. Onis just waiting, I guess. And there is a good flip there by Anderson the Walrus. Good stream it by Major John. Still improving. Oh, Anderson the Walrus on his top. And now Anderson the Walrus has no stream mech. No self riding mechanism. But Bill's coming in to count out the Obliterator. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and the Obliterator falls at this early stage. Cease. Well, the Obliterator lifted up Anderson the Walrus, and the Walrus was damn lucky to survive against a lot of dangerous, dangerous opposition. Well, that was a great first round melee, and the Obliterator first to fall here. To be honest, I'm not surprised. For now, all the robots are ready to fight again and that's the phone they can go to hell too so here we go again seven robots left we're about to find out who's gonna be next to go robots here stand by three two one activate there's the power of battle axe big axe on this robot big power by that weapon there is Calamity Call 5 trying to lift up Solstice. Anderson the Walrus lifts up Calamity Call 5. And that's big power by Anderson the Walrus, but Calamity Call 5 able to self right using that V shaped flipper. Lifts up again. And Battle Axe. Oh, could fall. No. Onis battling here against the Battle Axe. Oh, and gets right in the innards there at Blue Motion. And Blue Motion. Major John lifts up Blue Motion. Blue Motion is gone out of the arena. Major John gets his first out of the arena there. And Calamity Call 5 lifts up Solstice. And lifts Solstice out of the arena as well. But Blue Motion went first. Meaning that Solstice survives to the next round. Cease. So six robots remain. We've lost Blue Motion. And we've lost uh, the Obliterator. We are down to six the winner, remember, will become the New Blood Champion of Series 8. The sixth New Blood Champion, by the way. Royal Series, stand by. Three, two, one, activate. Of course, the first five champions have been Damascus, Diamond Storm, then you've got Spawn of Supreme, Exodus, and most recently, Titan Blade 12. And Anderson the Walgrass getting lifted badly here by Calamity Call 5. And Anderson the Walgrass able to survive though. A robot that beat Impact in a very good match two weeks ago. 
now. Kind of cool, trying to get the lifter underneath. There's Anderson Logris' weapon, though. There's Onis powering in to Solstice and Solstice, Solstice and Battleaxe look like they're the tag partners or something. Maybe we'll see that in the future. Big Axe here on the Battleaxe. Good power. There's Major John, though. Lifts up Solstice. Solstice lifted. Onis with Major John. Major John lifts up Onis, but Onis is invertible. It runs both ways up. So that will do uh, absolutely nothing to Onis, who just powered in the Calamity Call. But it looks like a stronger construction of Calamity Call this time round. Big lift by Calamity Call 5. But that flipper, very powerful. Battle Axe now might find an opening. I think he's found an opening on Calamity Call 5. And he's wailing in with these axe shots onto the flipper. And now he's changing to his target to Anderson the Wagrus. And Axe is down onto his forklift. Now, how good is Anderson Norris when it comes to damage? So like he's doing okay for himself, but that, but that flipper arm is now no longer at the bottom of the robot. It's a bit high up. I mean, I don't think it'll be able to lift any robots anymore. There is Major John. Major John has impressed a lot. I thought he'd be cannon fodder in this match. But a strong construction on the Major John. Major John lifts up Calamity Call 5. Solstice has been up. I don't even know if that lifter's working anymore on uh, Calamity Call 5. And, well, that flipper's working, but Solstice isn't. And Calamity Call 5 defeats Solstice. And that leaves us with 5. Cease. So Solstice lifted out the arena. We are now down to 5. Major John, Onis, Calamity Call 5. Battle Axe and Anderson the Wagras here. Rod's here, stand by. Three, two, one, activate. We are down to five robots. And there is Anderson the Wagras lifting up Calamity Call 5. We've already lost three robots in this match. And once again, it's Battle Axe coming down with that axe. Look at that. That is power for you. But wait a minute, Onis gets underneath Battle Axe. And there's Major John. Major John lifting up Battle Axe. Oh, Battle Axe gone! Battle Axe a favourite. I think, in my opinion, the favourite. He's, he's out of it. He's gone. He's gone. And Anderson the Walrus could follow. But he'll have to wait till next time round. Cease. Well, Major John trying to get a deuce there. Didn't get it. But Battle Axe eliminated. That's a shock to me. I thought Battle Axe would be in the final two at least. We're down to probably the top four of New Bloods here in Series 8 of Mash Dash Rotals. We are down to Battle Axe. Sorry, not Battle Axe. We're down to Anson the Wagras, Major John, Onis, and Calamity Call 5. Roboteers, stand by. Three, two, one, activate. Now remember, these robots have already been in four matches tonight. This is the fifth. So they must be getting tired out. And that is what it's all about, endurance here in Master of Rules. Major John lifted up by Calamity Call 5. But he's having a tough time self-riding. Does self-ride. But Calamity Call 5 could just get right underneath Major John again. And again! Major John has used so much of his flipper power that that could be it for Major John. A big lift by Calamity Call 5. On to Anderson the Walkers who could fall here! Major John, self right! Anderson the Wampus is now the immobilized robot! But Onis, in trouble with Major John! This is anarchy out there! You've got Major John trying to lift up Calamity Call 5. That's obscuring Bill's view! Bill's like turning the completely wrong way. Now he sees Anderson the Wagrus. He counts him out now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And Anderson the Wagrus came so far. Well played, Anderson the Wagrus. He came so far. But we are now down to just. Well, we're about to see a drop zone here. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, Lobster! Well, Lobster Edition right there on the Anderson the Wagrus. And that leaves us with three. Cease. Well, Anderson the Wagrus certainly did really well. But that no Shremek, that was the problem. Maybe they could sort that out. 
for the next series. But for the for now, Anderson Logras has been eliminated, and we are down to three. Major John, Onis, and Calamity Call five. Roboteers, stand by. Three, two, one. Activate. And Onis comes straight in. There's Major John there. Calamity Call five lifts up Major John. Clamical 5, desperate to try and get Major John in trouble. Oh, there's Onis with power. But Major John trying to lift up Onis. And Major John is certainly impressed here in Mass Draft Real Wars. Oh, but there's the pit button activated by Onis. And Major John in trouble here, I think. Major John could have been knocked out. He's... The flipper's still working. Oh, no, he's pitted himself. He flipped up, came in, and was pitted. And there, Onis just makes sure. Pushed into the grave. Cease. So, Major John eliminated. We are down to two. With Major John eliminated, we are down to just two. Calamity Call 5. Can this be the return of the legend? Calamity Call 5. Or will Onus stop him in his tracks? Realtor, stand by. Three, two, one. Activate. Onus needs to hit Calamity Call for everything he's got. And that's what he's doing. Calamity Call needs to lift Onus. And Onus is a very heavy robot. He needs to have all that weapon and all that power behind him. He's missed on two occasions. Now Calamity Call 5 could lift Onus here. He could lift him into a house robot corner or on his side. Wow. But oh no, Onis! Smashy coming call five for six there. And again! Smashy's coming call five for six. Wow, that's a powerful move. And Onis. Oh, and again! And Calamity Call Five could be all but out here. He could be out, and I think he is. And now Bill coming in the count out, Calamity Call Five, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and that is it. Onis wins the eighth or wins Series 8's New Blood Championship. And Climate Call 5 is on the arena floor flipper. Welcome back to Master Astro Wars Climate Call 5. Flipped on the arena floor flipper. And now Onis. There's the push. There's the pit, and the legend is pitted. Onis is the winner here. Impressive weapon on him. Six. So it'll be Onis versus Exodus. I tell you what, out of all these robots, probably Onis would have been the, the robot that Exodus probably most fears out of the eight. Because, well, we thought Exodus had no weakness until he fought DF2 in Series 7. Now we know... That his weakness is its weak armament. And Onis, one of the most deadliest weapons in Master of Rules. Robot Series, stand by. Three, two, one, acting. If you're looking for a robot which can rival Dragoo, here it is, Onis. Exodus needs to finish this early. But those spikes are making it really difficult. And a big shot by Onis Tactical. There is no side protection. On Exodus, and Onis making sure he can he can use that to his advantage. However, Exodus does have the power to lift up Onis, and I think has the power to flip him out of the arena. I think this Exodus has the power to lift Onis out of the arena. Exodus has held this title for God knows how long, but he has held it. He's held the title, and he will continue to hold the title until someone beats him. White Lightning comes down with the axe. There, Exodus in trouble again. White Lightning comes down with the axe and punctures Exodus. Exodus trying to escape, lifts up White Lightning. White Lightning just trampled all over Bill there. Exodus. Pit button has been pushed down, so it has been activated. Onis keeps missing his target though. Slight inaccuracy of his weapon. But if he can get one big shot, it's all over on Exodus, I think, and that, was that the shot? Was that the shot? No, I don't think it was. It wasn't big enough. That might have been it. Oh, just 
rams him right into the pig barn. There's nowhere to go for Exodus. And Exodus, I think, might have been immobilized. Could we have a new champion? A new, new blood champion. White Lightning thinks so. Lift Exodus with his axe of doom. Plants him onto the, the spike of genocide. And now White Lightning has Exodus. Axe comes down again onto, onto Exodus' body. White Lightning down comes with another axe shot. And White Lightning here, certainly proving to Exodus who is the boss. But what a match we've seen here, and Exodus is on the verge of going in the pit. He's out of it, he's gone! Onis is the new New Blood Champion of Champions! Cease. Well, Exodus tried his hardest, but it just took one hit from Onis, and Exodus pitted. And that means we have a new Master Ass Robot Wars, new blood champion of champions. And it is Onis. Onis ending the over one year reign of Exodus. So folks, we saw the return of a legend. We saw the rise of a newcomer. What could be in store next week? You're going to have to find out. So until then, I've been the master. I'll be seeing you next time. Goodbye.